And there is the Gladstone Hotel. Constructed back in 1889. And hello there, it is Sunday, October 22nd. The time is 3.17 p.m. and the temperature is about 10 degrees Celsius. And this here is Queen Street West. There's the Gladstone Hotel again. And just off in that direction, is a rail corridor and Dufferin Street, and that'll take you over into the Parkdale neighborhood if you keep walking to the west on Queen. But for this one, I will be heading east through the West Queen West neighborhood. And this runs between Dufferin Street just behind me and Bathurst Street. There you can see West Queen West. Written on that street pole there. As you can see, it's a rather windy fall day. And back in September of 2014, Vogue magazine in an article of, I think it was called The Hippest Neighborhoods in the World. And this was ranked highly on that list. But recently, Time Out magazine did a list of the 40 coolest neighborhoods. And West Queen West was not on that list. Another Toronto neighborhood was, though, the Annex, which is to the north of here. All those lists are kind of silly. But they're still fun to read, especially when your own city is included on those lists. So depending on who you ask, I guess you could say this is the former coolest neighborhood in the city. Again, kind of a silly and made up distinction. And it is one that has increasingly gentrified in recent years. There's a popular night spot, Death and Taxes. She's overdoing it too. I went there one night in the summer. It was actually a pretty good time. That's right across the street from the Drake Hotel. There's the Drake Cafe, and there's a number of, I guess you could say venues or night spots within the Drake as well. And the Drake was built back in 1890. It's like, it's There's an old postal station. I just kind of felt like going for a walk through here today. I'm not really sure why. I just finished recording a live stream that went through High Park. And towards the end, I caught a minor car accident on camera. is the, what's called the Theater Center across the street. That building went up in 1908. There's a really interesting mix of businesses along this stretch. PJ Cluck's Fried Chicken Sandwiches. 
I didn't have a chicken sandwich for lunch already, I would have been tempted to give it a try. There's a lot of dive bars, or I guess nice bars posing as dive bars along this stretch of Queen Street. There's a new building that doesn't quite blend in. I've heard a lot about Bar Poet, but I have never been there. There's a cocktail bar across the street, and I think that's an event venue up on the second and third floors. I've walked through here a number of times, and I've never really noticed that. Homemade ice cream and cookies. And there's Cam H across the street. That's the Center for Addiction and Mental Health. A long time ago, it used to be a psychiatric hospital. Queen Street is typically, at least Queen Street West, been sort of the cultural nexus of Toronto. The quote unquote cool part what's, what's the next used level? to be around between University and Spadina, and that just started gentrifying and getting pushed further and further west. Find something in And in recent years, this stretch along Ossington has been, become quite popular. Sort of a known hipster spot. Although I guess hipsters, by definition, aren't really a thing anymore, or they've evolved to be different than what we think of them, because once something sort of gains mainstream acceptance, by definition, it would no longer be hipster. There's a 501 streetcar. That one's going to Roncesvilles.
why do people do that? Just someone from the club. And here we have rival cocktail supply stores, the Cocktail Emporium. And Cocktail Alchemy. I was through the stretch a week ago on a live stream and I went through Trinity Bellwoods Park coming up. But for this one, I'm just going to keep going along Queen. And we've made it to Shaw Street. That's the eastern end of that particular Cam H campus. Honda Lola Mexican Bistro. I'm like freezing. All the best. Shout out Benny, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. So in normal times, the streetcar would go all the way to the western border of Toronto with the city of Mississauga. It's a long branch and then that would run east-west. A lot, a lot. On a very interesting stretch of the city. It would end in the beaches, but do the various track work. And even subway construction of the Ontario line it is disrupted. And there's various replacement buses running along the route. You look cozy. Maybe that, that's cute actually. But like if someone said I look cozy in this, I'd be like, you're fucked. Do I look you look so cozy right now, George? There's Fresh. I was reading a list or a Reddit post about places in Toronto that have gone downhill. And some people were commenting that that particular establishment isn't what it once was. There's the old chocolate company loss on the south side of the street. I think for this stretch, it's much more interesting to be on this side. Oyster Boy. Don't find me going through there. I am not a fan of oysters. And on the left, we have Trinity Bellwoods. Those nice fall colors are starting to kick in. the north end of Strawn Avenue, spelled S-T-R-A-C-H-A-N. Oh, 
it's certainly fairly peaceful along this stretch. And my shoelace has come undone. Just gonna pause the action for a sec. I just bought these shoes and I read these laces. I do have a tendency of coming undone every now and then. That was my first experience with it. Miner's daughter. There's Senko, a Japanese themed general store. It's an interesting browse in there. Phone call, one sec. And it stopped ringing. Pretty neat. Pepsi Peeps. Kind of like a vintage or hard to get candy shop. Yeah. 
There's a look at the tower. You can tell things get busier the further east you go. Funny, it was cold enough this morning that I kind of regretted only bringing what I did a light coat and a sweater. And now the coat is in my backpack. I'm wishing I was wearing something lighter. This has turned into a gorgeous afternoon. And this is it for West Queen West, which runs along Queen between Bathurst and Dufferin as this is Bathurst Street coming up. I'll be crossing over into downtown. There's a lot of taco restaurants popping up lately. I guess we'll just keep moving along Queen Street here. I had a thought to catch the 511 Bathurst. And head north, but that would make this video a little on the short side. We'll at least head over to Spadina. There's the Bovine Sex Club. And this would be Portland Street coming up. And just south of Queen Street, roughly between Portland and Spadina, is a popular stretch known as Graffiti Alley. Mm -hmm. 
It'll be interesting to see what goes in that spot. It's the Velvet Underground. So the neighborhood to the north of Queen here is known as Alexandra Park. This is Augusta Avenue coming up. I think that was a viewer <laughs> waving hi, or just a very friendly person. I ran into a friendly viewer at the end of my last live stream, actually. Coming up is Spadina. And just beyond that, it's a very popular commercial stretch of Queen Street. And there's a ramen restaurant I haven't tried. Oh, they're stacked. I went to Stacked on Danforth yesterday for brunch. I saw that this location was temporarily, temporarily closed. On their website, it looks like... Well, they can't really see in there, but it looks like they are renovating. Which is good news. As I'm a fan, it is affordable which is rare these days and quite excellent. In fact, I started a video from Stags yesterday. And 
This is Spadina. There's one of the more interesting McDonald's in the city. All right, I am thinking I might just take the Spadina streetcar up to line two, although that would be kind of silly. I could just walk over to Osgood Station and hop on the train. I feel like I've recorded that stretch of Queen Street a fair bit, so I'm going to sign off in a minute. I'm just going to cross the street and head over into that median. Let's see if there's a streetcar coming. Yeah, there's one not too far from here. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed this one. Oh, I think they know each other. Walking along Queen Street West through West Queen West and Queen West starting just east of Dufferin and making my way over to Spadina. Ooh, that glare is nasty. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides, and there is a super thanks button appearing below the video if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink!